Hey, yo, Eagles Nation, Kenzo with another 4 for 4 report. So I wanted to make a video getting in some more detail about the Darius Slay release. Now, as a lot of us know, it's a post-June 1st release. So I seen some Eagles fans saying that, you know, now we'll be able to go out and sign C.J. Gardner-Johnson because of this move. But in a, in a post-June 1st release, that money doesn't become available to a team until June 2nd, unfortunately. Which could help you sign draft picks you might have, might have not signed yet. Um, free agents in the summer. And money to carry over into the next season. So the Slay release does nothing for the Eagles right now. So it looks like the Eagles' option right now is to restructure Lane Johnson. And that seems like it's going to happen. It's been it's been rumored to be in the works for a little over a week now and hasn't happened. But I imagine that's going to get done. So include that with the cap space they have now, whatever that is. It hasn't been updated yet. I checked. And then, and then you can maybe get a deal done with CJ. But this Darius Slate um, post-June 1st cut does nothing for us right now, unfortunately, like I said. But yeah, what do you feel about Darius Slate being released overall? Forget all the numbers, everything like that. You know, I, I really enjoyed Slate being an eagle. You know, it was a good corner for us. We didn't have an elite corner for a while. He filled that role. Number one corner, you know, he was really good. He was really good the first half of last year. You know, third in quarterback rating allowed. But he ended the season 38th. That just shows you the kind of decline he had in the second half. You know, but really like Slay, man, he brought a lot of personality. Um, became a captain for the first time in his career. Made it to the Super Bowl, you know. I mean, before he got to Philly, he never been out of the first round of the playoffs. You know, so he accomplished that. You know, really good dude, really good personality, really good leader this year. But yeah, let me know what you feel about, about Slay being gone. And what do you think the future is at corner? I think it's got to be the draft. I mean, it's a, it's a corner-heavy draft, so that's good news, you know. About time the Eagles need a position in a draft that's full of that position. You know, I, I think a lot of these corners are NFL ready. Off the top of my head, I would have to say it's Witherspoon, Gonzalez, uh, Cam Smith, Deontay Banks, Joey Porter Jr. You know, so there's some options there. They just got to get a guy to fit the right scheme. Sean Desai is going to run something similar to Gannon. So it's got to be a guy like Bradbury who thrives more in the zone. And that's why, I, you know, I understand why they kept Bradbury over Slay. You know, Slay, about to be 32 years old, wanted a three-year extension. It just wasn't going to happen for the kind of money he wanted. So he had to go. It's a business. But, yeah, this is Kenzo with another 4 for 4 report. Please like the video if you like the video. Do your YouTube thing. Please subscribe, help this 444 community grow. And until next time, Kenzo, 444, all day.